So I thought I'd ask Nancy Tomich to talk a little bit uh, about uh, her perspective on this, and I'd like to introduce her as the first person that really believed in what I was doing. And uh, she was a reporter for U.S. Medicine, and, and she listened to me and said, that's a good idea, let's make it happen. And, and so that was a, a kind of a key point for me, is to have somebody uh, believe in it. This is just going to be a brief note because I think Tom's film so poignantly portrayed what the DHCP meant to the people who developed it and how difficult it was in the beginning especially to get it going because there were people in central office who were trying their best to, to quash it. They were threatened. They didn't like it. They felt that their financial futures were at stake because they wanted the proprietary thing to go in when that meant money for everybody. But um, Paul Schaefer, who was head of the National Association of VA Physicians, and I both believed that this was the best thing for the veteran, for the taxpayer, for the country. And we tried our best to make sure that it did not go away. Uh, we both met with Dr. Donald Custis, who came in as chief medical director, sort of in the middle of all this, and was being battered, you know, from the people in central office who were telling him, don't listen to those people in the field, you know, they're troublemakers, they just want the power for themselves, don't, don't pay any attention, they don't know what they're doing, we have the specifications, we know how to do this, don't listen to them. Well, Paul Schaefer and I just sat down with Don Custis several times, and I remember one time doing an interview with him about the DHCP and the need for user involvement in developing these systems. And he said, well, I don't know. I said, you know what? Go to the DCVA hospital and see what they have. Have you actually seen this? And he said, well, no. He said, but it sounds like this group really, in essence, is an underground railroad. I said, yes. And in the Civil War, that was a very good thing, remember? So he did go to the DC VA, VA hospital, and once he saw what was going on there, that was it. He said, that's it. This is what we're doing. This makes sense. These guys obviously are pushing their own agenda, and um, I'm not going to listen to these people who are pummeling me in central office. We're going with the field develop system. And he, in essence, was the guy who put the golden spike in the Underground Railroad. Knowing I was coming here this evening, I called him today and told him that you were gathering and I said, do you have any words that you would like the group to hear? And he said, just tell them I'm on their side. I am so proud of what they've done. They've done the best system in the world. Keep it up. And if I can help in any way, let me know. And now he is 91. He's moving with his son to an island in Georgia off Savannah. But he said his heart is with you. I just wanted to convey that message to you all.